Behind me is the Chateau Champlain Hotel, a very unique and instantly recognizable part of the skyline of Montreal. Let's get a view of this building. Hotel Chateau Champlain? It's a pretty interesting place. Rising 36 floors above the historic parkland setting of Dorchester Square, the Four Diamond Marriott Chateau Champlain provides stunning views of Montreal's downtown core, Mount Royal, Old Montreal, and the waterfront. As you look north, you have Peel Street ending up at the mountain, and you see the whole flank of the mountain. Amazing view. Oh, isn't that beautiful? It was opened in 1967 by the Canadian Pacific Railway, and it's also known as the cheese grater by a lot of people, and you can probably see why. When it was first built 20 years ago, some hailed it as an innovation in construction and design. Others just called it a giant cheese grater. The Chateau Champlain was originally conceived in 1964, and it opened in January of 1967. That was during the economic boom that prepared Montreal for the role of host to the world for Expo 67. Located on a block bordered by Peel, La Gauchetier, Mansfield, and St. Antoine, the $30 million complex took up space that was originally occupied by, among other things, the new Carlton Hotel, the original location of Mother Martin's, and the Alberta Lounge where Oscar Peterson was discovered. We'll incorporate design features and service standards reflecting the international, avant-garde, and colorful personality of Montreal. Groundbreaking ceremonies took place on September 14, 1964. From that day on, things moved very quickly. Montrealers soon realized that this building was going to be distinctly different than ones that went up before it. For one thing, it was one of the tallest buildings to go up that had precasted walls, something that attracted the interest of architects from around the world, including the Soviet Union. The building was designed by young Montreal architect Roger Destou and his partner, the late Jean-Paul Portier. The Stu tried to blend the hotel in with the buildings around it. The Windsor Station, which has this Roman arch. You have the cathedral, which again repeats this team, Dominion Square building, which again, arch. Once this reoccurring feature was observed, it was quite clear to the planners as to how the windows would look. But even the original plan for the current hotel is different than what was built. Originally, plans called for two hotel towers as opposed to the elegant single tower and the rather ordinary office tower, or Place du Canada, behind it. Budget cuts were usually the culprit. Gone were the outdoor pool and the more stylish roof. When we reach the last floor, of course, the time comes to add up the cost, and unfortunately, it's the top that suffers from it. Be that as it may, the hotel was ready to be opened on January 18, 1967. It is not only another hotel in Montreal, it is not another high-rise building. This realization adds to the pride of the citizens of Montreal. All right, let's go inside and tour this amazing property. Here we go. So when you walk in, you are greeted with a very beautiful lobby, a bunch of sitting areas and chairs. And over here, you got your front desk. Look at all the chandeliers, though, and the wooden walls. Look at that door. It looks so beautiful. Look at it. And by the way, the roof is made out of, like, copper something. It is just so beautiful. Down here is the metro station. Oh, look, there's your metro station. And here are your main bank of elevators. So sorry. Let's go up to 29. Um, actually, we'll go up to P, which is the pool level. You can see all these old photos of Montreal. And over here, you got a fitness center, big fitness center. Very nice. And here is the pool. Very nice. This is gonna be a tour of my room. We are in 2902 today. 3101. This is a uh, like a king room. Here's the very, very comfortable king bed. Yeah, it's your basic Marriott sleeper bed. Oh, it's so comfortable. This is one of the more basic renovated rooms. This room was renovated around 2013. King size bed, got the TV and the pretty nice desk area. And here's the, here's the bathroom. Ooh, very nice shower area. This beautiful marble shower. And then, oh, look at this view. And then even have a uh, Mont Royal, the mount up there. 
This is an amazing view. Beautiful views of Montreal's skyline. So we're in 3513. This is one of the executive suites here, which I got upgraded to. Isn't it be? Hey, isn't this beautiful? This is a gorgeous room. Oh yeah. Separate vanity and bathroom area. You've got a toilet, also got as a bidet. And over here you have the bathtub with very nice fixtures. Everything is gold plated in here it seems. Best part about this room is the amazing view. Oh, isn't that beautiful? Every once in a while, a grand hotel manages to define and epitomize the very best qualities of a world-class city. And whether you call it an elegant structure or a giant cheese grater, it doesn't bother the architect at all. Some buildings have no name. <laughs> the building, which is insignificant, does not draw attention. I'm Peter Anthony Holder with The Changing Face of Montreal for today's magazine. Overall, just a very beautiful facility. I'm back in the hotel room and just take a look at the... This is amazing. Montreal looks beautiful at night.